Chapter 3. Techniques of Integration Introduction Chapter 3 of the textbook covers various techniques of integration, including integration by parts, trigonometric integrals, trigonometric substitution, partial fractions, other strategies for integration, numerical integration, and improper integrals. These techniques are essential for solving complex integration problems and finding antiderivatives of functions. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you should be able to 1. Apply integration by parts to evaluate integrals. 2. Use trigonometric identities to simplify trigonometric integrals. 3. Apply trigonometric substitution to evaluate integrals. 4. Use partial fractions to evaluate integrals. 5. Apply other strategies such as substitution and completing the square to evaluate integrals. 6. Use numerical methods such as the trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule to approximate definite integrals. 7. Evaluate improper integrals. Key points. Integration by parts is a technique that allows us to evaluate integrals by choosing appropriate functions for u and dv. Trigonometric integrals involve trigonometric functions and can be simplified using trigonometric identities. Trigonometric substitution is a technique used to simplify integrals involving radical expressions or quadratic forms. Partial fractions is a method used to decompose a rational function into simpler fractions to evaluate the integral. Other strategies, such as substitution and completing the square, can be used to simplify integrals and make them easier to evaluate. Numerical integration methods, such as the trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule, are used to approximate definite integrals when an exact solution is not feasible. Improper integrals are integrals with infinite limits or integrals with discontinuities within the interval of integration. Real-world application. One real-world application of integration techniques is in physics, particularly in calculating the work done by a force. Integration is used to find the work done by a varying force over a given distance. For example, in calculating the work done by a spring force, integration is used to find the area under the force displacement curve, which represents the work done by the spring. Conclusion. Chapter 3 introduces various techniques of integration, including integration by parts, trigonometric integrals, trigonometric substitution, partial fractions, other strategies for integration, numerical integration, and improper integrals. These techniques are essential for solving complex integration problems and finding antiderivatives of functions.